What's up guys, what is up and welcome to a very exciting video that I'm super excited to play. Don't Starve Shipwrecked, an upcoming expansion for Don't Starve, $5, releasing on December 1st. I got my hands on a little bit early and they're going to be hopping in and playing it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this a little bit while we hop into this. Uh, shipwrecked will enable that. We're just going to be the gentleman scientist for now, start the game. And while this jazz is loaded, I'm going to talk about what this is. So if you guys don't know, this is an, an expansion for Don't Starve. Uh, played Don't Starve Together on the channel before with Royal and Ritz, if you guys remember that at all. That was a super fun time. Well, this is a single player slash solo expansion, and a lot of what it introduces is very much so kind of sea-based and makes the game into something a lot more tropical and kind of more badass. Right off the bat, there's a fucking parrot. What's up, parrot? How you doing? Don't call me a chump. What the hell? I gotta survive. Anyways, I haven't played Don't Starve in a bit. So, uh, I probably forgot all the controls, which is uh, examine the breeze, part of a wrecked ship. Alright, guess when we wrecked our ship. Uh, let me just get a feel for the controls again. Okay, so space is how you do stuff. Space is how you collect and everything. Uh, so, pretty much we're on an island. And everything becomes a lot more kind of Caribbean-y, if that makes sense. And we're kind of very much so restricted to islands. And we have to use boats to travel. If you look at the map, if I could pull that up. Very much so, we're on an island. Uh, if you guys remember, I actually posted a gameplay of this. Uh, we gotta make a hatchet, I think, for that stuff. Uh, posted a gameplay of this back when I played the demo over at PAX Prime. That's for what some of you guys might remember this from. And, uh, that's... Yeah! I'm I'm excited that finally it came out. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, if you are new to the channel, potentially from looking up and Don't Starve Shipwrecked, make sure that subscribe button so you know when I'm posting more of this, because I'm planning on doing quite a bit of this. Am I a Don't Starve expert? I don't claim to be, but we're going to have a hell of a fun time doing this, and hopefully you guys, in the comments, will be able to help me out if you know more, because there's there's a very awesome chance that some of you probably do know more. Uh, so I'm kind of just starting off here by collecting a bunch of stuff, getting our goods going. We can probably yeah, get that axe built. You only found one flint on this island so far? Huh. That might be bad. No, oh, there's another one. Yeah. Uh, hmm. thing I'm kind of concerned about here... Does this work like the original one where after like 20 to 30 days, I don't remember specifically, but after like 20-ish days there would be, uh, what is it? Winter would hit. Does winter hit in the Caribbean stuff? I know like storms hit and that thing's possible because I remember experiencing that. But I don't know if other stuff's going to be available. So uh, the game plan of this though is I want to get out uh, two, potentially three videos today and a couple more videos over the next couple of days as well. Uh, unfortunately, I'm actually leaving for a trip tomorrow so i uh, oh we got barnacles look at that i'm actually leaving for a short little trip tomorrow and i'll be back uh thursday morning so uh hopefully i'll be able to record a bunch more and get that going but the game plan is today i want to get like three of these up max if not then two and hopefully get two going over the next couple days so gonna have a bunch of this content for you guys Hopefully you are going to be liking that. And uh, right now I'm just kind of mindlessly gathering uh, just so we could be good here. Okay, so we can't chop down bamboo patches, at least yet. Uh, can we craft a pickaxe yet? No, we gotta find one more flint somewhere on this island. There's gotta be a flint. I mean, there's no way they just leave us here flintless. There you go. So, resources definitely a bit more scattered considering the fact we're on like tropical islands now. And uh, let's get this pickaxe going, just because if we can break rocks, I think we have a, a lot better of a chance of break it, or of getting a flint and whatnot. Oh, that flint was not there before. I do not remember that flint, but yeah, there we go. Plenty of flint already. Stone still use that to get a nice little fire going. I don't know if we're going to call this island home. This island does seem to be a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, oh wait, we can already do a hat? A straw hat? No shit! Alright, you know, that's grass? Whatever, we got plenty of grass. We got a hat, look at that. Farmer, Farmer Star, that's, call me Farmer Star. I love the noise that that crap makes, that was actually adorable. Uh, but, yeah, like I was saying, make sure if you are new, hit that, so you know when I'm posting more of it. And, uh, I'm just excited, excited to get it a little bit early, so, to some of you guys who maybe don't, or you guys can take a quick look at it before it launches, that's kind of one of the cool things I was hoping to do. And hopefully I'm able to do that, but, uh, super fun expansion. At least from the 12 minute demo I played. And what I'm doing so far, although we're just kind of, we're still in the basics, kind of just doing the gathering and whatnot. So maybe not, maybe not super fun yet, but it'll, it'll get funner. Even though funner is not a word. Okay, so by the looks of it, those kind of like smaller rocks definitely drop a lot more in terms of, uh, in terms of flint and whatnot. We've explored a little bit of the island. 
I, like I said, I know that there's bigger islands. I think we can even find the pig king on some of these islands. And the big thing we want to get going is a boat. We can, all, we can already get a shitty little boat going, or we can actually build a machete. I think this is how we break the bamboo to make a better, to make a raft. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's looking good then. Let's get the machete. Let's get ourselves a little bit of bamboo. Look at that. That's what I was looking for. And we'll be sure to build up a bit of a better raft. I'm guessing it's better since it's lower down. I don't know that yet, but uh, yeah, it's a raft. Boat at your own risk. Totally sort of seaworthy. It's better than log. R log raft isn't reassuring at all. That's a little bit reassuring. We just got to chop down uh, some bushes and whatnot, so it'll take a little bit. Uh, nighttime's going to be coming pretty soon, so hopefully... Oh, no! Snakes! 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 Ah, dip, 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 dip. Okay, they got snakes. They got snakes. I'm not trying to fuck with snakes right now. Oh, God. Are they going to chase me across this entire island? Hell no. Nah, they better not. I only have a machete to fight them with. All right, so snakes are not the biggest fans of you chopping their stuff. Note to self. Uh, Fire-wise, I'll probably just get a normal campfire going. Don't want to invest the rocks into a fire pit since I don't think a chim a chimney chimney is that just a weird spelling for chimney? So fire and wind don't mix, so we can actually keep a fire going when it's windy. Got it. That's good to know. Uh, we just need to get sand and limestone. Sand is from digging that. I'm gonna guess. Uh, okay, well, I want to keep on getting a couple of these just so we can craft up that boat when necessary. Hopefully, not stir up the snake nest anymore. That was definitely not the most fun experience of my life. And let's get one more going here. Alright, no snakes. Yeah, this is good news, bears. Not bad news, surprisingly enough. A couple more of these. So those snakes were kind of down there. Yeah, you can even hear them a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick these mushrooms. We have... Are, bar are limpets, like, good to eat? I don't know if I'd eat shit off a rock. Like, let's be... I'm being frank with you guys. I don't know if I'd eat that. That's sketchy, but... I mean, survival of the fittest, I guess. Right? I mean, we got coconuts. That's not really much of a risk, though. Alright, might as well get this fire going, then. See what happens. Hopefully nothing extra nasty comes out today. Start building it. Get that heat up. Make sure our sanity doesn't go too awful. Oh, it's still going slowly down. We're doing pretty good sanity-wise. We're managing alright for day one. If we were doing bad, that'd be uh, worse. Okay, so here's what we do with this. I think you... Drop the I don't know. I guess we'll cook the coconuts. I might be thinking of a different. I'm probably thinking of a different game. Yeah, let's cook the coconuts. I've never had cooked coconut before, but now that I think about it, that actually doesn't sound too shabby. Uh, roasted coconut. Munch on that. Get us a little bit of stuff here. I know down the line this is probably going to seem really stupid once people know more about the expansion and the best way of doing it, quote unquote. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this. Hopefully, it's not too awful, so to speak. Mm, petals, we don't really need to... Our sanity isn't doing too bad, but we could eat like... Oh no, wait, no, petals don't do sanity. Damn it. No, it's picking petals. That's what it is. I'm dumb. Uh, limpets. Ah, uh, that hurts our sanity by about 10. Alright, limpets, not the best thing to eat, but they do keep your food up. I forget what the green cap does. I know one of these go up while the other goes down. I forget exactly what. If we roast it, I think it's better. Oh wait, can we roast the limpets? We can. What's that do to the food? Make it better? Okay, so roasting the limpets gets rid of the negative effects. That's good to know. Roasting... I just forgot about the green cap from last game. Okay, so it hurts our health a little bit, but gets our sanity up. Alright, like I said, we're doing pretty good managing here. Let's go ahead and get that bamboo raft. And, uh, begin sailing! Because it's that time! It's our time to shine. Drive the raft, and... Kwawabunga! Let's see where we can go. Hopefully we don't get attacked by sharks. Let's be honest, with our luck, we're getting attacked by sharks. Uh, oh, dude, look at that! That is so cool! Is that, like, deep water? I'm not- I don't trust going into that. That is- Oh, what is- What is that? What the- Don't attack me, please. What are you? Whoa! What the- What? Oh, Jesus. Alright, that's so cool. They have waves! No way, I did not know that. You know what we gotta invest in? What we gotta try and do- Also, we gotta try and get the stupid science machine. We gotta find, uh- Island that has gold stuff, though. Survival-wise, uh, there's something down here. A thatch pack. Ooh, a thatch pack. We can actually craft up one of those. Uh, we want to keep exploring these islands till we find one that has the goods we want. Ah, that sounds like monkeys, if you ask me. Alright, how do I, uh, exit here? There we go. 
Alright, well it sounds like there's monkeys on this island. Look at our map. This one up a little bit north. There's more seaweed we missed, but I don't think it's a huge deal. Make sure to keep picking these flowers, keep our sanity up. And, uh, this seems to be kind of a skinnier island. I, I hear monkeys back there. I don't know what they're plotting. They're plotting something. I don't know what this is. Is this just like, uh, isthmus? I think that's what, yeah, this would technically be an isthmus. My vocabulary is coming into play. That's a first. First time I don't sound like a dipshit. And, uh, not the mo oh, does it? Okay, I thought that still kept going. I'm like, wow, that'd be impressive. No, I I'm gonna chop down any trees that have coconuts, though. Coconut, not with the machete, with that. So we then we get both wood and a little bit of de coco. I'm in love with de coco. Okay, this is taking a lot of chopping. Only one cocoa? Mm, that's disappointing. Like I said, though, we can get that thatch pack going. Uh, we're probably gonna want to get a shovel. We need a science machine. So to get the science machine, we gotta get gold first. Okay, so... I know we gotta find a rock specific to that. I don't know if it's different in this expansion, though. That's kind of what I'm hypothesizing, potentially. I don't think it's the limpet rocks. I think it will be pretty noticeable once we find it, so... That's the big thing we kinda gotta keep an eye out, is just... Make sure we're not too dumb here. I'll keep the... Is this where it came from? I think so. I'll keep the... Machete out. I mean, already, though, this water mechanic and the whole island hopping thing definitely changes up the game quite a good chunk. I mean, already, it's, like, not exactly within my comfort zone to be doing all this. When I'm playing Don't Starve, I'm used to, like, settling down pretty easy and it's just, like, a giant mess of land. But now I gotta worry about, like, going island to island. That's sketch. That's sketch AF. Uh, I mean, if I could come across some of those rocks, though, that would be clutch as all hell. We only need one of them. We can get that science machine, but then we gotta actually pick a decent place to settle. I don't think we're at that point. I don't know how long I want to spend exploring, though. I know I don't want to spend too long, especially if, like, a storm comes and hits. That would be bad. Uh, I'm thinking maybe up to day five, worst case scenario, we spend exploring. And, uh, hopefully we have found the gold by then to actually do something with that. If not... Oh, I heard snakes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dip, 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 dip. Uh, I think that's the game plan. We'll try and find that gold rock. If we don't find one by... You know, after we find one, we'll take up to day five to explore for a good area. And uh, after that, we will... Oh, alright. So we already got some spiders here. Alright, that's good to know. Good to know. I haven't seen one of those yet. I mean, it's good to know that they, you know, continue to prosper in these island environments. I was not expecting that. Especially out of freaking spiders. Actually, would spiders be better or worse in an island environment? I don't know, I'm not a biologist. I'm not an anthropologist, whatever the hell kind of scientist we need for this situation. Oh, that's a green pasture! Okay, this island's looking pretty big. This might be a decent one to settle once we, uh, figure out where we want to go. I'm chopping down any trees with the coconuts. Gotta make smart cocoa-related decisions. And nut-related decisions. Whenever you want to fall. There we go. Grab all that jazz. Alright, let's keep on looking around. Yeah. Oh, another coconut tree. Um, not much more to explore on this island, but we're going to make a note of this island. It's pretty big. Resource-wise, I don't know, though. It doesn't really have, like, the most abundance of resources, at least yet. We still do have a little bit to explore and an entirely new biome here. I have, don't remember this biome. What the hell are these? Sweet pot- Holy mother of sweet potatoes! That's a lot of sweet potatoes! Jesus! I do no, we've got to piss something off by picking all these sweet potatoes. This is too good to be true. I'm calling it. The freaking sweet potato bandit's gonna come out and be like, yeah, take my sweet potatoes, shay. Eh? Just gonna jump us or something. I ain't about that. I'm not about to be about that either. Um, I mean, no, we're doing decent uh, map wise. There's like a small section left for us to explore. So, what is that environment? Oh, that's water. I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. I'm actually an utter dipshit. <laughs> yeah, holy mother of sweet potatoes. We're not going hungry for a while. This is, uh... This is really good. Does this shit regrow? Or what's up? Dude, this has got to be a trap. This is just too many sweet potatoes. Like, oh, and we can cook them and make them extra nutritious. Hmm. And unfortunately, though... Oh, we can make a fire, right? Yeah, we can. Got it. Uh, Map-wise, though, what we might want to do... That raft, it might be better for us to just build another raft right there and go north, because that's actually... Oh, wow, look at that. That is actually pretty close. Uh, yeah, it might be better for us to do it that way. 
because we'd have to go around a pretty long distance, and I don't think that's the best idea, to be completely honest, but what do I know? I don't know shit. That's what I'm banking on you guys to help me out for in the comments, please. I mean, I know the basics, but when it comes down to it, I'm not one of those don't starve players who can survive for 20 freaking days and just be like, oh yeah, no biggie, you know, it's what I do, yeah, see, it's what I do. No, that's not me. I'm the one who survives about five minutes. I mean, actually, no. There it is! We got the freaking boulder! We, ah, uh, our pickaxe might not. Plus pickaxe? Shit, we gotta get another pickaxe. Alright, thank god we can craft one. Running, oh, we're running low on twigs. Uh, that's no good. Let's keep getting this shit. Uh, I'll eat the limpets here. Oh, swap of that. I'll actually drop the limpets then. Freaking, oh, those are parrots. I thought those were monkeys originally. Keep picking shit up. Be ready with that fire. I mean, we got the gold, so we can settle this island if we really want to. And honestly, I kind of really want to because it does have decent resources, but I feel like there might be even, like, nuttier islands, so maybe we'll keep on exploring. Uh, in the meantime, though, we will build this campfire here on this little isthmus to keep us slightly sane. Uh, let's go ahead and roast our daily grind of coconuts. Or do we want to roast the sweet potatoes? Can we roast the seaweed? We can roast the seaweed. I'll roast the low volume stuff first. So we can go ahead and munch on that. Oh, roasted seaweed is really good for health, apparently. I saw our health go back up. And, uh, seeds? We could roast some seeds. Oh, I'd rather keep those and start up a farm in a bit. That might be a better investment. Uh, we can craft up two of those, potentially. And we still got a little bit of bamboo. Let's craft up, not craft up, let's cook up these coconuts. And hopefully... We can munch on the rest of these till we're full. Uh, how much do we go up by when we eat a coconut? It goes up by like 9, 10-ish. So we should be able to munch on this last coconut. And be good after that hits. But other than that, I think we're going to go ahead, head on north. We do have the spider's nest here. This is a pretty diverse island, but I don't know how insanely diverse they can get. There's a lot of potential for a lot of variety. But uh, we're going to have to go ahead and continue our search next time. Next episode, we're probably going to go ahead and explore a little bit more north. And depending on what we find, either settle there or come back here. And then we'll have a boat on both sides just for convenience sake. And be able to craft up the science machine and have a good time. And uh, see where everything goes from there. Hopefully we don't get shit on by a storm, though. That would be bad. So we gotta start preparing for that. But then that, that is going to go ahead and do it to me for this episode, though. Keep an eye out. Hopefully I have some more of these videos out today and over the next coming days. And there will be a lot of them. No worries. But, uh, yeah. That's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, as always. And hopefully, I'll see you next one.